What's up everybody? Well, I got another ASUS G15 Advantage gameplay video for you guys today. And today, we're doing another revisited video, and we're doing the 1440p version of Hogwarts Legacy. Now at 1080p, we didn't do so great. It was still pretty much a stuttery mess, unless you were far, far away from Hogsmeade and Hogwarts, and any place with lots of NPCs in there. The forest was pretty smooth, flying around, pretty smooth. Still has ran stutter here and there, but let's go and see how 1440p fares. Maybe it was just the CPU being too much of a bottleneck. Now we're gonna make the GPU do a shit ton more work. So let's see how that one fares, especially cause lots of people have this laptop, but only in a 1440p flavor. So I like doing both 1080p and 1440p. That way everybody's happy. But in any case, enough rambling. Let's go grab that cord and get this guy hooked up to that capture creator. Go look at my settings, and then we'll go hop on into the game. Now let's have a quick look at the settings here for 1440p. I'm pretty much going to run the same exact settings. The only thing I really did is I turned TAA down to low, because you don't really need as high anti-aliasing the higher up you turn the resolution. Then you just start killing your FPS for not a whole lot of less jaggies. And we are on the correct radion. I turned off a bunch of that stuff I normally don't like. So now let's go have a look at the rest of the settings here. As you can see, same custom settings I had for 1080p. Because it just so happens that it runs honestly a lot better on here, and at least in a lot of places. There's still some spots that are stuttery nonsense. Oh, and of course, no ray tracing, because we all know this thing doesn't do that very well. At least not in this kind of game. There are some games that can handle it, but this is not one of them. So, to the game. Well, all right, guys, here we are. We're at Hogwarts, so figured we'd run around here for just a little while, and then after that, we'll move on to Hogsmeade, and then to a forest, and then after that, camera. That is the plan, anyway. And of course, I'll do chapters so everybody can just jump around to their own liking. Nobody is forced to just watch the whole video all the way through unless they just like to. I'm sure there's some people that enjoy watching it from start to finish, but at the same time, I mainly made these videos to... Oh, what kind of shit was I looking to run? All right, boom, that. <clears throat> but in this case, we're just running my settings, so... In this case, it'd be more of a, how does it run here? Okay, that's good enough. How does it run here? Okay, that's good enough. So on and so forth. I can see a lot of people doing that. And then just leaving and seeing if it's, uh, and if it's good enough, they maybe go buy the game. If not, they're like, eh, no, I don't wanna. But as you can see, at least in Hogwarts over here, we're getting some pretty damn nice frame rates and frame times. So that's pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. I was getting such good FPS and frame times here, I had to go back and check to make sure I didn't turn down some settings or accidentally turn FSR on or something. But I was like, no, the game doesn't look like, like worse in the background. So I don't think FSR is on and I was right, it wasn't. So I think this game, it just likes 1440p more. Probably is a little bit less of a load on the CPU. I think this game is super CPU heavy. And that's one of the places where this laptop is starting to show its age. It's not like, oh, I can't play games, but I feel like some of the newer unoptimized games, it's kind of the reason why it can't hit a constant 60 in them. Which is real bullshit, because it's not like it's a weak processor. It's just unoptimized games don't, it doesn't have the power to go up, cut through them like my desktops do. And hell, even the Ally has a stronger single core. Heck, it has, the Ally has stronger single core score than even my... 3D chip, though, which most people don't realize this, that thing actually gets worse single core performance than a regular 5800X because its clocks are not as high. So it makes perfect sense if you think about it. All right, though, let's see. We should probably get moving on to Hogsmeade here pretty soon. Find a nice spot to stop here. That's a cool statue. Kelpie. Anyway, now to the Hogsmeade. Hogsmeade ho! And now we are in Hogsmeade here. So we'll just do what we did at 1080p and just run around, but as you can see, this place is nowhere near as smooth as we were at Hogwarts. This is pretty much just as stuttery. And I believe there's a couple spots where it drops under 60, but at the same time, it's not really getting that much worse FPS than it did at 1080p, but 
I think this is the most CPU intensive spot in the whole game. I could be wrong on that, but that's what everybody was saying. So unless everybody's wrong, that's what I heard. Funny enough though, the RAM seems to have calmed down at 1440p. We were at like 21 gigs at 1080p. That's strange. All right. Wow, those are some big ass pumpkins. Although there's a place that grows ones about that big. Pretty close to my house. It's like on the way to Ann Arbor. It's called like giant pumpkins, like literally. And there are some pumpkins about that big. Always wondered how much one of those cost or would cost if they even sell them. They might just be like, hey, we can grow this shit. Come check them out. But you can only buy these smaller ones. But if I had to take a guess, they would probably be hundreds of dollars. Anyway, though, let's pet the kitty. Gotta pet the kitty. Oh. And now we can go ahead and move on to the forest. So now we're in the forest here. So same thing, we'll just take a quick stroll through the forest real quick. And then when we get to the end of our little route here, then we'll move on to camera. That's the plan anyway. Man, there's chickens and all sorts of stuff in this forest shit. Man, that thing always sees me. What the hell even is that thing? One of these times I'm gonna have to check that out. But for now, we're just gonna stay on track. This place has seen better days. Well, there they go, the, the bad guys, I'm pretty sure. They float around like that, and then they're probably behind me somewhere, ready to kick my ass, but... Sorry, guys, I'm going this way. Oh, Ooh, there's some bad people down there, too. And apparently, they will enjoy this. Whatever this is, they will enjoy. Wow, that uh, that deer was going through it right there. It didn't know what the hell to do. It was like, I can't, I can't jump off cliff, but guy coming but must run away. Can't figure out what to do. Oh my god, I'm gonna run around in circles. <laughs> All right, though, this looks like a good spot. So let's go move on to camera. All right, let's get a little camera record gameplay now. I wanted to make sure the game wasn't super glitched, so I just decided to be super patient and waited for it to be daytime. I wanted to run around and see how much that affects frame rate. Night is probably easier to run than daytime. <laughs> I mean, how we can tell it does. Look at how much more stutter we're getting now compared to how we got at night. Sure is a big ass school, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, courtyard. So we 
definitely dropped under 60 quite a few times already, but we did it 1080p too. So, that's just the nature of this game. You can be getting 80, 80 FPS one minute and down to 50 something another. All depending on where you are in this game. But, in any case, why don't we go ahead and go to Hogsmeade now and see how Hogsmeade does. Here we are in the Hogsmeade. So let's run around and see how we do. Still seems to be a stuttery mess, but figured it was going to be. I didn't think daytime would make it any better. In fact, I figured it'd make it worse. I think it does. I think it's getting less FPS. Same amount of stutters, but I think it's getting way less FPS than it did at night. Man, this is another game that's a RAM hog, though. Seems like they got the VRAM more under control now. They're only using like 7 gigs. Before, I think we were using like 9 or 10. I'd have to go back and look at my older videos I did, but I could have sworn that's about where we were at before. But, maybe that's just me remembering shit wrong. Sure is a bustling town. But, in any case, we've got about two minutes of footage, so let's go move on to the forest. Well, now let's take a quick jump through the forest here, see what kind of frame rates we get now that it's daytime. seeing me over and over again, so I figured I'd stop and take a look. Lots of squirrels. I don't want to have to face their squirrely wrath, so I will leave. These rocks have seen better days. They sure have. fly around a little bit here. It seems like flying around on your broom is one of the funner things in the game. Fun to just fly around and just explore. Though I pretty much explored and did almost everything you can do in this game. There's a couple things I haven't done yet, but I felt fulfilled enough to move on to another game after a while.
Still a pretty damn good looking game though, even if it isn't turned all the way up. Definitely not the best looking game out there though, but far from the worst either. time for us to wrap this video on up so let's go do just that well all right guys that's a wrap for hogwarts legacy at 1440p and just when it was i was about to say oh man 1440p is doing a lot better it's a lot smoother well then i moved around changed from night to day and well lo and behold we got lots of stutters again so unfortunately this game is still just stuttery no matter what on this laptop at random points sometimes it's good sometimes it's not Seems like it's more stuttery when you're in cities and towns, more so than anything. So there might be some setting in there that I'm just being stupid with that would solve all of that, but I don't know. I messed with that shit for what felt like quite a while the first time I went through this game. And no matter what I did, I couldn't make it stop doing that. So in any case, now everybody knows this game is, you know, it's playable, but you have to be okay with a lot of stutter too. So I don't know. I would probably not play this game on the laptop, which I did not do. I played it on my main computer. And even that had a lot of random stutters here and there, but since it's so powerful, it brute forces its way through a lot of the little stutters. It's got smoother frame times, or at least it did. Maybe everything's changed now. We're still gonna do the secondary computer and the primary computer next, so we'll find out soon, won't we? But in any case, that is all we got for this particular video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, because I sure as hell enjoyed making it for you guys. And until the next video, peace out, guys.